Police say the first alleged murder happened at this nursing home nine years ago. Within the following seven years, police allege six more here and one at this nursing home half an hour's drive away. Police allege the victims, ranging in age from 75 to 96, were killed in the same way. The victims were administered a drug. We're not in a position at this time to comment further on the specifics of the drug as it forms part of the evidence that is now before the courts. Former nurse Elizabeth Wetlaufer appeared in court today facing eight counts of first-degree murder. Police say they don't believe there are other victims and decline to say what they believe her alleged motive might have been. At the apartment complex where Wetlaufer lived, her arrest shocked neighbor Derek Gilbert. Beth seemed to be a normal everyday person. She would come down, walk her dog, and the dog would come up and we'd talk and I'd pet the dog and everything. She's been in my home a couple times. Um, my mom and her went out for dinner. Family members of the alleged victims reached today all said they were too upset by the news to talk. James Silcox, listed as the first alleged victim at age 84 in 2007, was a lifelong parishioner at this church. Jim Silcox was one of the nicest men you could ever want to meet. Kind and gentle, and he attended church every Sunday. Close friends of another alleged victim, Helen Matheson, who died at 95 in 2011, were grasping to understand. Why? Why? That's the only thing that goes through my mind. Why? Doris Grinspan, head of the Ontario Registered Nurses Association, took the criminal charges against a fellow registered nurse heart. Shock, uh, disbelief, uh, how can this happen? Um, was these errors or were these killings, um, in any case, horror? The last alleged victim died in 2014 at the nursing home in London, Ontario. 76-year-old Arpad Horvath was a wealthy tool and dye company owner. Both nursing homes released statements today saying they are cooperating with the criminal investigation. An investigation police say they hope will provide answers to the families who until just recently believed their loved ones died of natural causes. Ron Charles, CBC News, Woodstock, Ontario.